Hi, my name is Dave Bodie for Tuts Plus, and thanks for checking out this course on Mastering Depth of Field and Exposure. This course is designed to go beyond the basics of photography and explore more advanced areas in exposure and depth of field. Our goal is to take these advanced concepts and break them down into easy to understand ideas. And we will not just be talking about these concepts and ideas. We will be looking at several examples of how to put these ideas into action in the real world. At the end of the course, you are going to want to be armed with specific tools to help you take better photos, and not just a bunch of equations and theories. Having your head full of complex ideas when you're trying to get a shot can be really frustrating. For this reason, we are going to go in deep with these concepts, but then give you tools and more general guidelines to help you sort out all of these elements when you're out and about in the real world. To start, we are going to do a little exposure review to make sure everyone is on the same page before we move forward. Then we'll go into the three areas of exposure, ISO, shutter speed or exposure time, and aperture in more detail. We'll talk about ISO and noise, shutter speed and stopping motion, then aperture and depth of field. At this point, we will start our journey to discover the mysteries of depth of field by talking about how it works, how depth of field is related to subject distance, focal length, and sensor size. We'll go over the limits of depth of field, learn about hyperfocal distance, and calculating depth of field. Then we'll look at real-world shooting and the great balancing act of how all of these things work together in more difficult shooting conditions like landscapes, indoor group shots, brightly lit portraits, and capturing motion. Finally, we will talk about how all of these things are tools to use and not rules to be strictly followed. We are going to cover a lot of stuff in this course and hopefully have some fun and take some great photos along the way. So make sure to check out the next lesson where we'll be doing a quick exposure review.